tree. You're right. There is a tall tree. Look at that tall tree. Isn't it pretty? some exploring of our backwoods today on our property. This little arbor was the arbor that Bill and I stood under on our wedding day. And now it is part of our yard. It's pretty special. Hi. getting a bit swampy back in the creek bed that we cross here. Alex, what did you find? Did you find some leaves? Did you find some leaves? Walking through the swamp here, looking a little dicey. I don't know how Alex managed to make it through without getting mud all the way to the top of his boots. Okay, let's go explore the trail. Let's go explore. Did you find some pine cones? It is so nice. We feel so blessed that we're able to give this gift of the woods to our kids. It's so important. So important for their mental health and their spiritual health and physical, just running around, climbing. I'm glad that we moved a ways away from the city so that we could afford to get a bit more property. Bill grew up in the national parks. His dad was a national park ranger. So he really has a love of living out in bigger spaces. And I grew up in suburbia where we had parks with lots of woods and everything too. So we both, we both really love having the outdoors and having that as a resource for us and our kids. What'd you find? Is Oh yeah, Daddy made a little deer gate here, huh? So the deer can't come in and eat the vegetables. Should we go back the other way? The tree fell down? That's called a stump. Yeah, that's a stump. That used to be a tree, once upon a time. There is a tall tree. You're right. There is a tall tree. Look at that tall tree. Isn't it pretty? What colors do you see in the leaves? Tall tree. What color are the leaves? Yellow. Yellow. maple tree because do you see the yellow maple leaves on it that's a baby one and there are some big ones back there big old maple trees that's a baby one and look there's another baby one should we go find the really big maple all these leaves we're walking on are maple leaves
That one right there, that one is called a Douglas fir. Right over there, that one. That one's a Douglas fir. Those are the ones that give us the pine cones or the fir cones. This one is a big maple. Big, big old maple. Over here, you can see the remains of what was once a tree house. The people that lived here at one point. There's a big tree house up in that branch up there. But in the last big windstorm, it fell down. So we're glad that nobody tried to go up there. But you know what, Alex? When you're bigger, you and your engineer daddy are going to build another tree house together. What do you think about that? Build a big tree house up high in the tree and you and Sophie can play up there. What do you think about that? You can help daddy build it. We'll give you a hammer and a little saw and you can learn some carpentry. What do you think about that? Do you want to build a tree house? You want to build a tree house with daddy when you get older? That's a tree house. That's a tree house that fell down. But dad, you and daddy, in a couple years, you'll build another one. A nice one. Yeah, we're going to go have some lunch. What do you want for lunch? That's what we want for lunch every day, isn't it? <laughs> we we'll try and get a little variety, though. We'll see. We might eat something else. Time we to cross the swampy walk. swamp. <laughs> You want to walk with mommy? Oh, you found some swampy swamped, huh? Good thing we're wearing rubber boots. What little kid doesn't love mud? Alex, what is this? It's a fort. So Bill discovered this. It's actually a fallen tree that didn't die. So it still has all of its leaves and it's alive, but it's fallen and it creates this cool little fort under here. And since we've had so much rain, we have to uh, trek through the swampy creek to get back into it right now. In the summer, it's completely dry though. There's a little fort back in there. Bye bye. Bye guys, thanks for watching.